Today we are going to discuss the Langford Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned quarterly, argent, and gules. And the source has this listed as the arms of Sir John Langford, who was alive in the 1300s. And I have a note here that says, was this Sir John de Lang Longford or Langford, who was born around the year 1265, the son of Oliver de Langford II? Oliver held the manors of Barborough, Hather Sage, Kilmarsh, Longford, and Whitwell in Derbyshire. Another Paley of Six Oren Ghouls of Bend Argent, associated with County Worcestershire and Leicestershire in England. We know there was George Langford, alias Oliver, who disclaimed arms at the visitation of 1634. Next, the coat of arms and crest of John Langford of Selford, or Shelford, in County Bedfordshire, England, granted in 1607. Another associated with counties Derby, Nottingham, and Shropshire in England. The arms itself was borne by Sir Nicol de Langford at the Siege of Calais in 1345 and at the Battle of Burrow Bridge in 1322. And there's a second one listed for a different Sir Nicol de Langford, said to be born at the Battle of Burrow Bridge in 1322. Paley of Six Oren Ghouls, a border argent from County Northumberland. The arms of Sir Ralph Longford, born around the year 1400, son of Nicholas Longford the Fourth, and he had a grandson of the same name, Sir Ralph Longford the Second, who was born around the year 1442. One from Pembrokeshire, Wales. Paley of Six Argent and Ghouls on a Chief Azure, a line pass in ore associated with counties Wiltshire, Berkshire, and Oxfordshire. Sir John de Langford bore this coat of arms at the Battle of Brobridge in 1322. There was also from Berkshire, there was Sir William Langford of Bradfield in Berkshire, a member of Parliament and a Justice of the Peace and Sheriff of that county, the son of Sir Thomas Langford. Very similar coat of arms. In this one, the lion is Passant Gardens. It's the arms of Sir Christopher Langford, who was knighted at the capitulation of Calais in 1348. It's also associated with the Langfords of Langford Hill and Cornwall, also Halitro in County Somerset, and the Langfords of Trungle and Penzance in County Cornwall. Another with a mullet for difference, associated with Langford Hill, Poundstock, Liskert, and Tromade in County Cornwall, England. One for Bratton in County Devon. There was four men of this location. Taverner Langford of Bratton Coveley, born 1610, the son of Moses Langford, the grandson of William Langford, and the great-grandson of Richard Langsford, who died in 1583. Coat of arms and crest of the Langford Baronets of Kilmacdrit in the county of Antrim. It was a title in the Baronetage of Ireland created in 1667 for Sir Hercules Langford, a merchant and landowner, the High Sheriff of Meath. The title became extinct on the death of the third baronet, Sir Henry, in 1725, who we see depicted in this oil painting. And Mary, the daughter of the first baronet, married Sir John Rowley, their grandson, Hercules Langford Rowley married Elizabeth Upton, who was created Viscountess Langford in 1766. Coat of arms of the Langfords of Muckmore or Mayor in Antrim, Ireland. It was granted to Sir Roger Langford by letters patent around the year 1621. He was a captain and mayor of Carrick Fergus. He commanded a regiment of 100 foot soldiers in 1603. Per pale argent and ghouls, three mullets counterchanged from London, England. 
Another associate with London and County Middlesex, John Langford of Gray's Inn, alive in the year 1634, the eldest son and heir of Roger Langford of Ruthven in County Denbigh, and the grandson of John Langford of Allington. Azure a Sheldrake Argent for Longford. And there was a Langford who was a captain in the Royal Navy, the son of William Langford, a canon of Windsor, right here. And his son, who was in the Royal Navy, was granted in arms around the year 1824. And two possibilities would be Frederick Langford, captain of the Alpheus in 1817, and George Langford, captain of the Cuba in 1807. And several more members of the family. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.